Today we're mixing concrete by hand. Hello, I'm Griffiths, welcome to Winnie Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now we've got a bit of concrete work on today, just a tiny bit. If you remember the, my last video, we concreted the yard. Click on the link there to see that video. And we've just got a tiny bit now to do by hand. But there, uh, so we just, just cut that out this morning. We used Mel's Taguchi digger and this new pecker did the job fantastic. So we've cut that off, we've cleaned all that out by hand. There's roughly five to six inches there of depth. And we're gonna tie the level in the shed out with the yard. Cause we had a bit of a lip. We just wanna tie that in together so that the pallet truck can glide over that on any direction. It can just glide in no problem. Cause before we could only bring the pallet truck in that way. Cause there was, there was a big lip that side. So like everything on farms, We've got different levels. The floor in there isn't really level, so we've got lots of different angles to work here. But with any kind of concrete work, you've got to do some shuttering first, unless you're doing something like this. So there's no need to shut here because we've got con four concrete walls right down that we're going to concrete up to that level, so it'll be a bit of a ramp. Now, if you're new to mixing concrete, it's pretty easy. It says on the bag, how to mix it, so we've got Manok Master Grade Cement, I've never used this make cement before and like on every bag we've got instructions on the back so normal concrete if you're using sandstone and cement they recommend three uh, stone, two sand, one cement but what I've got here is 25 to dust and this is like a limestone uh, mix so there's no sand in there it's just um, duff is what we call it uh, that's what I like to use I think that's a much stronger mix especially for farm spec using the 25 to dust and not messing around with sand and stone separately that's uh, an all in that's where I get the building material Tubby Works, local company, old company, uh, down in Camarthen. We pretty much buy all the building material through them. I found them very good, very good prices. Although the last bill I had was quite high, but everybody's saying how expensive materials go in. But yeah, it's pretty good to find. I found them good. And uh, Manlock, that's come from them as well. We've never used Manlock cement before, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be good. Otherwise, they wouldn't stock it. And I've got some fibre. Now we use the mix of RC45 with fibre for the whole yard so we're gonna try and get the hand mix pretty close to RC45 so we're gonna go down the route of four stone, one cement and fibre and that should do it uh, be close enough to RC45 as close as we can get to it by hand anyway so a strong mix. It's gonna be a fair bit of traffic there with forklift and the pallet trucks etc. So that's it got the cement mixer, cement, stone, fibre, wheelbarrow, water, let's start mixing. So the way I mix cement, put a bit of water in the drum first, depending on the mix we go in, we're going four to one, so we're going to put four stone, one cement, and we're going to go through them like that, so water, four stone, one cement, and as that's mixing, we're going to keep adding on until this is full, dip it in the barrel and move it and do that for the next hour and a half, two hours maybe until hour and a half till that's full.
on, take the look. Like that, not too dry so you can't use it, and not too wet because you're going to lose strength. Something like that now is perfect, especially when we're working it on the slope, you don't want it to run away. We have good consistent mix like that all day, this part will be pretty good. So we're just roughly working the cement there now, so we're not going to over mix. So we know roughly where the cement's going to sit. Then once we think we got enough in there, then we'll properly start working that and getting that smooth and get it to a, a finished surface. So we're just working the surface now, giving it the finished level, a nice smooth level. Mel's using a magnesium float there, gives a good finish. Because you want this pretty smooth to fly the pallet truck in and out of. It's coming pretty good. And the extra tricky bit we've got here now, we've got the roller door. You've got to bring the roller door, lock it, and make sure that's a tight finish. But yeah, depending on the type of Concrete finish you're going for, this is quite a nice finish with a float, you can go tamper finish or uh, use a piece of wood to do this. That's my favourite kind of finish with a float. And the last job of mixing concrete, make sure you wash the mixer down so it's spotless. The last thing you want is your mixer full of concrete and it won't last as long. I bought this mixer probably eight years ago brand new in screw fix went up to Cardiff to get it because there was no screw fix around here back then and it's a Bell mixer Bell 130 very very pleased with how that's done so I look after it well that's it we finished we've just covered a bit of the ramp outside there because it's starting to rain quite a bit now we don't want that getting wet so always try and keep the weather off your fresh pad and that's the bit inside looking spot on so that's a little tutorial or introduction into how to mix concrete i'm not a builder we do things farm spec here but farm spec is pretty good so Gives you a rough idea whether you're concreting a gate post or doing a little patio slab. You're not sure how to mix concrete. That's how we do it here and it works just fine. And uh, we've got to mix it quite strong for being strong enough to be able to drive the forklift, tractor, diggers, all that type of stuff on it. So we make it nice and strong. But that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch me more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.